2020 HEC is the first year of a new syllabus for maths. And the new syllabus is more emphasized on the application of the calculus to the real life problems. Say, for example, rates of change. So today I'm going to give an example of one of the rates of change questions from the past HAC paper. Right, okay, first question is proving dx dt is equals to k over t, where the k is constant. So firstly, we need to know what is the x dt. The x is the displacement of the snow plow clean the snow. And the, if the derivative of displacement respect to t, it means a velocity of the snow plow, which is same meaning the x dt is v equals to k over t. So now we need to prove why the velocity of the snow plow equals to k over t. So from the question, they give to us two very important information. So we have to always read the question carefully to find out what's given and how does that imply to the question we need to prove. So firstly, they give us the information that says velocity of the snow plow is equals to A over H. Where the A is constant, but the H is the height of the snow. So from this sentence, the one we need to prove, I call it one, to the one they give to us, two. They don't have much relation there. One is k over t, one is a over h. So we need to somehow find in the h in terms of t, and then we can replace h by something t, that's how we get closer to the equation one. So then we have to dig out any more information they give us in the questions. So then we let's see, they say the first snow of the season begin to fall during the night, the depth of the snow called the H. It says is increasing at a constant rate. So which means the height, the rate of change of the height is equals to a constant rate, which equals to C, let's say. So these are another information they give to us. So from here, we can find the integration both sides. We can get the height is equal to ct, respect to t, and we plus another new constant, we call it d. And then, of course, we know initially when t equal to zero, which when the snow just starts snowing, means h is equal to zero. So we're using this pair of information to solve it into the equation here. We're finding the constant c times zero plus d. So we're getting d equals to zero. So from there, we get the first sentence, which h is equals to ct. So this we call equation three. So now we have three sentences here. Now we're going to bring all these three sentences together to proving the first sentence. Okay, we need to apply the t coming and we need to apply the velocity. So from the equation 2 and equation 3, we can sum in 3 into 2. So we get the velocity is equals to a over ct. So this sentence is getting more closer to the equation one because the time is coming. So from that sentence, we got to get a little bit more changing. We can get the proof because a and c are both constant. So we can let a over c be another new constant I call the k. Then we can say therefore the velocity is equals to k over t. So this is the first steps. We prove the velocity of snow plow is inverse proportion to the time. We got to use this result to do the second question. Okay, second question. The second question is, is talking about when does the snow starts? So we know the time t, the little t, 
is starting from the snow stars. So meaning t equal to zero, it just starts with snow. And then we mean t equal to one, we mean it snow in one hour. And t equal to two, it snow in two hours. So if I say let capital T corresponding to the 6 a.m. So what does that mean? If the capital T equal to 2, meaning it's snowing 2 hours by 6 a.m. So which means the snow was starting at 4 a.m. So if capital T equal to 3, but it's corresponding 6 a.m. means it's snowing 3 hours until 6 a.m. Meaning it's snow at 3 a.m. So that capital T, it really tells you what time it will start to snow. So now we need to focus on how do we find the capital T. And once we know the capital T, then we do 6 minus the capital T, we can find when it was started snowing. Now we can using the other information given to us to find what's capital T. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in camera. So the first sentence they give to us say the snow plow start to clean the snow from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. It start to clean the snow by one kilometers of the road. So meaning. If we integrate in the velocity respect to t from 6 a.m., which is capital T at that time, to 8 a.m., which is capital T plus 2, then this will give us 1 kilometer. Because the integration velocity with respect to t in the certain time period tells the distance traveled by the snowplow which is one kilometer. So from here, we can say the integration of t to t plus two. k velocity equals to k over t dt should be equal to one. So integration of this gives us k log t. And we sub in the two limits, t plus two and the t should be equal to 1. So then k times log t plus 2 minus log t should be equal to 1. And we simplify this. So log t plus 2 over t should be equals to 1 over k. So this is another sentence we have here we are named as equation A. And then they also tell us it takes a further 3.5 hours to clear the next one kilometers. So next one kilometers is another integration from t plus 2 from that another 3.5 hours meaning is t plus 5.5 .5. and the integration velocity respect to time give you distance to travel, which is another one kilometer. So integrating this will give us same k log t, but with the new limits t plus 5.5 .5 and t plus 2 equal to 1. And from here, we get a very similar sentence, which is the log t plus 5.5 .5 over t plus 2, it should give you 1 over k again. So I call this is equation B. And we can equate equation A to equation B, and we're able to find what's the capital T equals to. So from there, since they both equals to 1 over k, so then we equate them each other. So we have log t plus 2 over t should be equals to log t plus 5.5 .5 over t plus 2. And since the log value equal, meaning these two values are equal, t plus 2 equals to t plus 5.5, .5, t 
over t plus 2. And then we solve these equations. We have t squared plus 4t plus 4 equals to t squared plus 5.5t. And from here, we can have 1.5t is equals to 4. Therefore, t is equals to 2 and 2 thirds. So what does this sentence mean? It means it has been snowed 2 and 2 thirds hours till 6 a.m. So then from this information, we can tell the snow was starting snowing at 3.20 a.m. Finish. If you found this video useful, subscribe and leave a like. And let me know what other things you'd like to watch me explain.